Okay, so let's do a bit of Blender with the M2 Mac versus everything. And I ain't even got a wide-angled lens wide enough to uh, film this. So the iPhone to the rescue. So sorry about that, but it is what it is. So M1 Mac, M2 Mac, both base models, 8 gigs RAM, MacBook Pro 16. That has the M1 Max and it's like 64 gigs RAM. And then we have a 3080 Ti on battery, okay? So we're just gonna quickly go through these and see which one renders faster. We're concentrating on the GPU because as you can see here, the GPU is being used on all these Macs in Blender. So I sort of lined them up to what I think will be slowest to fastest over here. I'm not sure about the MacBook Pro 16 and the 3080 Ti, which one will be faster, but I sort of think this will be right. So anyway, let's have a look here. So this is the M1 Mac. Now you can see there, it's a bit choppy there. It might be RAM limited, but yeah, you can see it's not very good. It's like almost frame by frame. Now let's go to the M2 Mac. Bit smoother, right? You can see there, it's a bit more smoother. Um, it's still not real time. You can see a bit of lag, but if you just look at them both side by side there, you can see how much smoother the M2 is versus the M1. So yeah, let's look at that. Now let's look at the MacBook Pro 16 versus the Alienware. Now the Alienware is on battery, and you can see there, it looks like the Alienware is smoother. This, you know, MacBook Pro 16, very close to real time. It's very smooth, but I'd say just a touch of lag there. Whereas the RTX 3080 Ti, even on battery, because Blender has been optimized for CUDA for a very long time, you can see there, it is basically real time to me. That looks like it's in real time to me. Yeah, you can see the difference there, but very close, I would say. So let's do a render on the GPU on all these laptops and see which one renders out faster. Okay, so now we're doing the BMW Blender render. And as you can see, we were using the GPU in this test on all of them. So the GPU on the Mac there, and of course we're using CUDA with the uh, Alienware here with the 3080 Ti. So let's see how fast they were. Now, of course, this is the M1 Mac. And what was that? Two minutes and 59 seconds. That's the M1 Mac. I'll try and keep that steady. Can you see that? 2.59, the M2, 2 minutes 20, so a little bit of a boost there, virtually, you know, 40 seconds difference. We go to the MacBook Pro 16 with the M1 Max, 32 gigs RAM, just move that cursor, 1 minute and 11, so yeah, it absolutely killed the M2 there, as you'd expect, and bear that in mind, 1 minute and 11, and now we go to the Alienware and it's 28 seconds. So yeah, a big difference there. 28 seconds versus 1 minute 11 versus 2 minutes 20 versus 2 minutes 59, virtually 3 minutes. So, so that's probably one area where the Macs sort of struggle a little bit still. Not because they're not excellent machines. They are excellent machines, but things aren't optimized for them like, you know, uh, when we're talking about Blender, they've been using CUDA for years. They've only just started using Metal, so I expect things to get faster. 3D still is like, you know, you can't beat Windows for 3D and maybe motion graphics and stuff like that. But for music, video editing, just pick whichever one you like. Actually, I'll probably think, you know, maybe the Mac's better for video editing. So, yeah, make your choice. Uh, catch you in the next one. Tally ho.